This is a tough one. Harry Kane versus Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, I've got the answer. I've got, I, I think I, I've got the answer. I think, I've got the I think answer. we're pretty Three, opposed. two, one. Ronaldo. <laughs> <laughs> You're useless, mate. What's wrong with you? There's something wrong with you. Well, look, without further ado, let's get straight into it. We've got the first bracket. We're going to do it on your side, Rory. Mm. We have got Alan Shearer versus I'm worried about Rooney. him. I've just got to flag it. <laughs> you know when you partnered this up? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, like, I've given this the due diligence that it deserves. I'm taking this incredibly seriously. I'm okay. going to play this by the book. I'm going to remove all tribalism, all bias. I'm just going to do this correctly. Because there's no Chelsea players. And you, and you pay, <laughs> see what I mean? See what I was, you case started point, already, yeah. one Chelsea case player. He's already case some point. <laughs> well, you've, got, you've only got two, to be fair, as a Man City fan. Oh, they're great, so, they? They're great. Amazing. Yeah. Very what, recent. What? Anyone? No, nobody, nobody from your 2000 team. Where's well, Paul Dickon? Yeah, Paul Dickon. I was about to say, where's Paul Dickon? Sean <laughs> Gunter on it. I like one chop. <laughs> Amazing, right. So we're starting up here. Let's start up here. Shearer versus Rooney. Should we just, just explore who they are, right? So you've got 260 Premier League goals, which is so impressive, so significant, bearing in mind that he was doing it for a team that wasn't the greatest. It's all very well to talk about talk about Wayne Rooney's brilliance, and I'm sure we'll come on to that. But 260 for a team that didn't win any silverware, well, largely for a team that didn't win any silverware, mm. you know, after he had the successes at, at Blackburn Rovers and his brief time at Southampton no trophies and yet he was still pinging them in but if you look at the Rooney debate if you put Rooney into the Blackburn side in, in mm. 95 you put Rooney into the Newcastle side that he was there for 15 years Alan Shearer does he score 260 goals I think he does Shearer played up front every single game Rooney had to play left wing right wing had to drop into midfield at the back end of his career Rooney's a better footballer than Shearer better, better total, total footballer you could also say he scored a Champions League final goal for Man United they I mean, got that, beat though yeah, but it's still a goal. You don't give back, back to Lampard. No, no, no. You, 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 well, you, you sneered at me. Well, you No, no, yeah. you sneered at me about Lampard. I've told you about Lampard scoring a Champions League final goal. Your answer to me is you didn't win it. That's true. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. I, I just, look, Shearer just didn't have that legacy. He had a few seasons in the championship with, with, with uh, Bobby Robson, of course. But I just think Rooney, I have, to, I have to stick with Rooney. If you want to go hard on Shearer, you can have it. It's a shame that we're comparing these two because I would have definitely had these two further into the debate. But we've been thrown It's a random generator, head. by the way. We've been, is it a totally random yeah, generator? Totally random, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. Okay. That's why Drogba's ex on Rooney. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> I, uh, look, Rooney's a better footballer. I'll, Rooney's, let, England, I'll let Rory go. England goal, yeah. Right, England top goal scorer, Manchester United top goal scorer, countless yeah. amounts of silverware, arguably the best British footballer that has ever been created. It's Rooney. It's Rooney. Yeah. Okay. Do you Rooney? want to concede that one? Of course, one? definitely. But no, I, want, uh, I want Rooney. An I honourable mention to Big Al. I feel, I, feel slightly, I feel slightly harsh that we're uh, leaving the top goal scorer of the Premier League era off of... He's, he's, gone, out. he's gone out so early. But it's just okay. the luck of the draw. Right, Rooney's through. All right, nice. Next one, we have got Thierry Henry versus Didier Drogba. Don't stop. He's giving me a funny look already. <laughs> no, man, you're going to have to... Re like, you, you've got a role here. Okay. You're the arbiter. You, yeah, you, I'll you, be the you've got a significant... Okay. Like presence here, and he's going to play up. Not physically, but no, <laughs> no, no, but, no but your aura, your right? Aura. Your aura. Okay, I yeah. like that. I like that. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll be on. I'll help. Okay, I'm in the middle. Go on. I'll Should go with Henri. Yeah, I'll, no. Should we just explore Henri at least? Okay. Because Henri is the second best striker in the history of the Premier League. I think Drogba is the best striker in the history of Chelsea Football Club. That's a big difference. I don't think Drogba gets into top five in, in the Premier League era. He hasn't, he hasn't got that kind of the Premier League icon status. He scored that goal against uh, Munich in the Champions League. But in the Premier League era, when we see Henri run through at White Hart Lane and all that, these big goals in the Premier League era has to be Thierry Henry. So talk about big game moments. You're allowing that, yeah? Well, no, Sorry, I was looking no, for no, you no, to no, do no, something. No, <laughs> Sorry, you're just talk, moving on from talk, that. No, no, talk about big game moments. Who do you think is the bigger player in those moments? In terms of that conversation, there is no debate here. Like, Freddie Lundberg's a better big game player for Arsenal than Thierry Henry. Like, that, that's a fact. Thierry Henry, when it most mattered, went through one and one in Paris and missed. Didier Drogba, when it most mattered, dragged Chelsea to, to not only the Champions League. It's, it's what, 10 finals, nine goals. Like, in terms, of, in terms of doing it and doing it and doing it well, it's Didier Drogba. We sneer at Drogba's goal record overall. Mm. But 20, 2010, Chelsea won the double. Yep. Didier Drogba scored a ridiculous amount of goals, ridiculous amount of assists. You know people go, oh, you know, he didn't score the goals, he didn't ever have that season. Yep. 
2010 he had it. What, what are the well, numbers? So, he's, yeah, 2010, we've got here 29 goals that season. Premier League. 29 Premier, Premier League, League goals. goals yeah. That's amazing. And overall that season, because we won the double. So overall, how many goals did you drop? 37. Mate, 37 goals in a, in a double winning season. If you give me a total striker in big games, Champions League, FA Cup finals, League Cup finals, what can I say? There's no debate, it's Drogba. Henri didn't even score a goal in a final in his, in his whole career. But in the Premier League yeah. debate, which this is what it is, Henri is an icon of the Premier League. He's an advertisement to... Who won more Premier League? Uh, by one Drogba, I'm guessing. So Something who? like that. By one. Sorry, I think just say on, that. Henri won three. Sorry, how many? So, 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 yeah, but, <laughs> just say but as an advertisement to someone watching in America, someone watching in South America, uh, the Premier League, Henri is an icon. He's top three icons in the history of the league. Whether you think, you know, it's, it's probably Rooney, yeah, but you we know, need Henri. to be better than that. We need to see beyond iconic status. We need to we need to we need to be a little bit more critical, right? Yeah. Yeah, prestige and prestige and beauty and, and majesty, absolutely, it's all Thierry Henry. Yeah. But striker, Champions League final. Stri no, but striker in the Premier yeah. League. Striker to win the Premier League in a final better game. Better goal season. to game ratio but, in one of the greatest sides of all time in the in the, in the Invincibles. Okay, one look okay, you that made, invincible you made a side better yourself. than the doubles. The <laughs> double winners. So I'm going to push you. <laughs> so are you agreeing to disagree? No, so the, the thing is going... very difficult for me here because I know that in this room, every, and I reckon that this room is a case study for the world, everybody disagrees with me. I, I know that I'm fighting a losing battle here and therefore I'm going to concede and put Thierry Henry because <laughs> I know that's what the Sport Bible audience will have done. I know yeah. that's what the comments will be suggesting. I just wanted to really fight it because I don't think people acknowledge his contribution. Oh, 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 oh. I'll try to do it. Try to do it by Freudian stealth. Slip, look, slip. look, no doubt, really, don't even worry about it. It's Thierry Henry. Thierry Henry goes through, no big deal. Yeah, done. Anyway, moving on. We should have got you on that side of it. <laughs> right, look at that, yeah. Thierry Henry has made it through. Okay, next one. We've got Michael Owen versus Andrew Cole. They're both incredible strikers on their day. Obviously, Michael Owen winning the Ballon d'Or. Andy Cole has uh, the Champions League. He's got the, the treble winners of 99. Uh, even the back end of his career, he sort of stayed in the Premier League, played for like Fulham, Man City, a few other clubs in, the, in there as well. So his goal record in the league is fantastic. You ha I think it's an easy one in terms of Andy Cole, but Michael Owen's level, I think you could argue Michael Owen's level, the season before he goes to Real Madrid, uh, or just before that, even in the 90s, is maybe a little bit higher than Andy Cole in a single season. But overall, I think the answer here has to be Andy Cole. But like the very definition of generational Michael Owen. When he, came, when he burst onto the scene, it, it blew my mind. For, for England and Liverpool, pre the age of about 22, 23, it was, it was unlike anything I've ever seen. But the answer has to be Andy Cole. All right, nice and easy. Okay, next one. We've got Dennis Bergkamp versus Luis Suarez. It's weird, isn't it? I don't think Bergkamp's a good goal scorer. Is no, he? He's good, a good he, finisher, like he could finish a chance. He, he wasn't that kind of player. Premier League striker, though. Striker, so gen, like, we talk about general play, goals, of course. It might be the easiest one on the list then, because I think Suarez's range of goals, his, his ability to strike the ball at any kind of range, free kicks, all sorts. Uh, one of the, the best strikers to ever play in the league. His time is concentrated, so I think his legacy is slightly diminished. Never won the Premier League. Obviously, Bergkamp was part of the Invincibles. Um, I think Suarez is actually relatively easy. I see, I see Rory yeah, chomping at the bit here. We've got a problem. <laughs> we've, got, we've got a real problem. Because as passionate and one-sided as Boothie was there about Suarez, I feel about Burkham. I think the answer to this is Dennis Burkham. I think Dennis Burkham is possibly the most gifted footballer on this, on this entire board. I think that's how good he is. Mm. He is a, like, a truly sensational player, a Premier League great, one of the most natural finishers that you could ever want to find yourself with in your team. But because he did so many other things, because he was so good at so much, maybe we don't see him as a finisher. But he, some, some of the best goals that you will ever see are Dennis Burkamp goals. Sometimes, and this isn't even a joke, when I used to work in an office, if you know that half hour period where you come in towards the end of the day and you've had your second coffee, you don't really know what to do with your time, you're pretending to work, I would often just put on Dennis Burkamp goals. Like, that's how good you are. Just watch Dennis Burkamp score like eight goals and, and watch, the, watch the replays, and then it's time to go home. Like, that's a wonderful way to end every day. He is as ruthless a finisher as you could ever want to find in your team. It's just he does so much more. I think Suarez has some of the most unique range of finishes of anyone on this board. But I'm, I'm happy to give it to right. Burkamp. He, he's actually won the Premier League. I think that's important. Yeah, I think, that's, I think that has to be brought into, so into account. And he, and he was part of the Invincibles, wasn't he? Just watch his goals at Filbert Street. Just put in Arsenal, Leicester, Filbert Street, and then you go, oh, Rory was right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll lock it in, we'll lock it in. Love that. Right, OK, we're going to get on to this side of the draw now. We have got Sergio Aguero versus Mo Salah. This is hard. I can see a smile. Look at this smile on his face. Well, it's hard He's because... Random generator, eh? Oh, yeah. chances. <laughs> no, I, I think uh, in football, the narrative around football is a weird one. We forget, um, I think we overlook how good Aguero was. The range of finishing, his goals to game ratio. 
plus the big goals to get City our first Premier League title in the Premier League era. Mm. It, it's, it's undisputable. I think he's the best striker in the history of the league. And in a 4-4-2 all-time combined Premier League era, it's him and Henri for me. I think it's as easy as that. What was Aguero not good at? Like, what was his flaw as being a striker? Like, inside the box, ruthless. In the air, despite being about our height, ruthless. Outside the box, lethal, left foot, no problem. Like, there wasn't a flaw. And there's not many strikers on this list where you could say that there just isn't a flaw in their game. And Aguero is certainly that. But it's Salah. You did an all-time 11 of, of uh, Liverpool. I think Mohamed Salah is now in it. Mm. You know, if they were to go, Hansen's in it and Sunes is in it and Daglish is in it. I think Salah is in it. And not many from the modern era will be. Mm. So that's how good I think Mohamed Salah is. You look at his goal return, he has become a Premier League great. It's just so difficult that he's up against Aguero here. So the Centurion side, Aguero started down the middle for that side. The greatest side mathematically in the history of the Premier League. For me, one of the greatest ever anyway. So, and Aguero started that, that side, you know, he, he was imperious that season. He's right, he's right. But it's Salah. <laughs> <laughs> in that case then, uh, Sergio Aguero is 7% of the vote. Seven? Yeah, of the whole... Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, right, sorry, right, yeah. Right. Not between... Like, that's a landslide. <laughs> like Liverpool fans out there. <laughs> no, no, no. For the whole board, 7%. And Mo Salah, only 1%. Really? I'll take that. That's beautiful. I suppose because of the definition of a striker. Aguero yeah. is a striker. Oh, he's better. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, can you do us the honours, please? Yeah. Really? Aguero is that, is that the, 1%? Yeah, is that wide of a, okay. a vote, yeah? Next one. Uh, Robin Van Persie versus Jamie Vardy. The Leicester story transcends sport. I think it's the best story ever. There is something quite uncomfortable about leaving Robin Van Persie off of this. Though. You know that year when he moved to Manchester United? Yeah. He just won in the league before yeah. Christmas that year. Mm. His goals up until Christmas, Manchester United were out, like it was Chelsea chasing. They were just out of sight. All right, the narrative around Vardy is massive. It's, it's, it's cinematic in terms of where he came from, but he's a fantastic, ruthless finisher. His goals to game ratio in the Premier League is incredible. He's got that Premier League title as well. The goals were instrumental in that. He worked harder than Van Persie off the ball. And I think he actually, he managed the back end of his career better. I think, he, you know, in his early 30s, I think Van Persie fell off a little bit quicker. So, you know, it's a hard one. It's really hard. Okay, can we employ democracy? Yeah, so you're going to split the vote, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Robin, <laughs> such a cop out. Right. <laughs> Robin Van Persie, 2.25% of the vote. Yeah. And Jamie Vardy, 1.75. Wow. So very tight. Right, next one, Robbie Fowler versus Erling Haaland. Well, it's a testament to Erling Haaland's first season in Premier League football. We can even have this debate because yeah. he's had one season. Everyone else here has had, what, at least six, seven in the Premier League, at least, if, if not ten. So, uh, Haaland came in, he's won a treble. He's broken all sorts of records in English football, in European football. He's a better striker than, than Robbie Fowler in every regard. Not he's, every regard. He's not a better finisher. He's a better finisher than Robbie Fowler. He's definitely of course not. He is. He's not a better... Erling Haaland's an overall better player. He's overall yeah. a better striker. Yeah. But he's not overall. Robbie Fowler's finish. not scoring hat tricks in the Champions League. Robbie Fowler yeah, scored a hat trick against Arsenal in five minutes. Yeah, but in the Champions League, we're seeing him do it for Dortmund when he was 19, 18 years old. I mean, his his status is, is similar to, to Mike Owen's in no. terms of in terms of his prime. And he's See, only 22 years I, old. I, I, there's one issue with this. I, Erling Haaland is a better striker. But there's something that doesn't sit right with me, putting in somebody off the back of one season, mm. putting in somebody who was who is gonna go down as like a Premier League icon. We're comparing one season. I think. In three, four years' time, this is a different conversation. But as of today, Haaland's got one season. If you put that Haaland uh, player in Liverpool, he's scoring the same kind of goals as Fowler is. He's, he's a infinitely You put Robbie finisher. Fowler in a Guardiola team, he's in the same no, time. No, he's not. He's, he's, he's scoring 53 goals last Rob season. Robbie Fowler is a finisher. The fox in the box, as Wenger mm. called it. You, you really struggle in Premier League history to find somebody better at doing that than Robbie Fowler. Right, I'm going to push you on this one. I what are you looking I in? Can't not, I, you know, Roy's right. If we're doing the legacy season. of the Premier League, what can I say about Fowler? Of course. One but season. Base it on a play on the player. The player, he's a better. Yeah. Of course, he's a, he's better at everything. Link up play, physicality. I think he works harder than Fowler off the ball. Fowler, you, you should sit in the box. No. Am I wrong? You're wrong. You're, you are wrong. <laughs> Something just doesn't feel quite correct about putting in somebody off the back of one seat. One, it's one good season. Do you want to go to the audience vote? It's one. It's a generational season. The audience vote's going to be pointless. <laughs> <laughs> The audience vote is going to be pointless. <laughs> the answer is Haaland, but okay. I'm intrigued. So you're going to lock in Haaland, but, lock in okay. Haaland, but I'm intrigued. So Haaland, 2% of the vote. But Robbie Fowler, only 0.5% of the vote. That's because everyone knows their, 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 their football knowledge. <laughs> they only gave you 2%, Haaland. mate. Next one. This is a tough one. Harry Kane versus Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, I've got the answer. I think I've got the answer. I think I've got the answer. I think we're pretty opposed. 
two, one. Kate. Ronaldo. <laughs> You're useless, mate. What's wrong with you? There's something wrong with you. I've actually looked at the board. I wasn't late to you. I've spent time. I've been here for half an hour before you arrived. I've looked at the board. Useless. Who is the Premier League GOAT? Mate, a guy that's won this. the Premier League or a guy who came fourth was happy to get to a cup final <laughs> at Wembley. It's sitting in one I, I was giving this a due diligence that it deserves. All last night I was studying. <laughs> and... The answer is Harry. Harry Kane is a better striker than Cristiano Ronaldo in the Premier League era. Yeah, but we can't do that because we said about Salah being... You used... Salah didn't get on. No, so, yeah, yeah, you're right. No, carry on with that theory. That's a good theory. No, no, but you, you used the Salah yeah. argument and you did it very, very well. And, and it was close to Aguero. You know, you got close to Aguero. Ronaldo wasn't playing as a striker either. So you can't, you can't throw that against Ronaldo positionally. How can I sit here and say Harry Kane's not one of the greatest strikers in the Premier League era? Of course. But we're talking about goal scorers in the Premier League that goes on, to, his goals contributed towards not only Premier League titles, some of the greatest Premier League titles of all time, European Cups, FA Cups for Man United, three in a row for Man United, goes on to be one of the most expensive players in the history of football. You know, Harry Kane, he hasn't got that lineage in football. He doesn't. This is one of the greats of all time in football, let alone the Premier League era. Kane cannot be out at the first hurdle. Kane under Ferguson in, in 08, that Man United side are worse. Ronaldo oh, at Pochettino's Tottenham, they're better. Is that fair? No. <laughs> no. Even if you present it as being fair. I'm like just like, I'm no. asking that. Yeah. No, it's good. It's a good try, man. Yeah. Fair, right? <laughs> Look, I'm staying out of it. Yeah. This is between you two. Okay, I'm, I'm voting Kane. Yeah, Kane. Ronaldo. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna go to the audience vote. So Cristiano Ronaldo got four percent. Harry Kane eight percent. Wow, that's a win. It's a win. Harry Kane makes it through. Surprised by the four percent? Because of Harry Kane, oh, Harry Kane could the final still, now. Harry Kane could be the answer to this entire problem that we're solving. Cristiano Ronaldo can't be the answer to this entire problem that we're solving. Harry Kane is potentially, arguably, the greatest Premier League striker ever. Cristiano Ronaldo, despite his brilliance, is not potentially the greatest Premier League striker ever. Mm. It's correct. Well done, Sport Bible audience. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Right, we're going back to you now. Okay. Uh, Rory, we've got Wayne Rooney versus Thierry Henry. Go on then, talk about Thierry Henry again now. Do it, do it. <laughs> go, on, go on then. You did it once, try it again now. Well, what can I say? I mean... Uh, are you going... Are you, do you know what you're doing here yet? Or do we need to talk about it? Do you know where you're going? Uh, I think they both get into a Premier League all-time 11. So if there's 11 players on the pitch, there's a couple of positions up front and slash attack in the field, however you want to do it, 4-4-2, four, four, I think they both start for me. That, that, that's, a, that's a credit to both of them. Yeah, I think, I think I'd probably agree with that. However, however, we, need, we now need to pick one. So if you had the opportunity to have one of these players, if one of these players in their pomp could have played for you in your pomp, yeah. who are you picking? My gut is Wayne Rooney. Yeah, that's my gut. He was, he was, he makes defenders afraid even if they've got the ball. Do you know what I mean? Because of what you could do off of it, the physicality. Mm. Everyone remembers when he shaved his hair, he was diving into people at whole city and all that. However, however, Henri. It's harsh and it to leave him, leave him out, but. But then he's got the he's got the record in the he's won more Premier Leagues. Yeah. Even I, I know I brought up the Champions League final goal. I get it. They lost they lost to, uh, at Wembley to Barcelona. But Henri never even scored. Yeah. You know the Champions League final. Yeah. These two are both elite players as well as goal scorers. They are both sensational ballers. Who's better? Rooney's better, better total footballer. You think Rooney's a better total yeah, footballer? Yeah. You could stick him in midfield. You could stick him centre back. He'd be he'd be the best. Yeah. The way he applies himself, the way he could pass the ball. He's a better passer of the ball. Get assists for other Doesn't people. Carry the, where would Henri... Slightly is? slower than Henri. Henri was an athlete. He was mm. quick. He, you know, he was a, almost a sprinter in terms of how he, you know, yeah. he could get down the byline. I, for me, it's Wayne Rooney. I, I didn't think... I, this is, you've done very well here. Because <laughs> I wasn't with you. And now you've done so well. So articulate, Boo. Because now, now, now I'm with you. Right, Boozy's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, 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 we're doing you. it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, that's amazing, Rooney. by the way. Because you've totally convinced me. So next one, we've got Andy Cole versus Dennis Bergkamp. I think it's pretty easy. I, I think as you get later into this tournament that we're doing, the goal record for Bergkamp simply isn't there. The quality of goals when he does score, no. fantastic. Andy he did Cole so well on the better, previous one. <laughs> Andy Cole's a better goal scorer. He's been in the scorer. Warwick over there. Let himself down, didn't he? Maz, we're so sorry about him. I know we worked together. I didn't anticipate this. I've, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to everybody watching. I know he's my dear friend. But, but am, I, am I wrong that Andy yeah. Cole's a better goal no, scorer? No. Yeah, he's look, better goal to game ratio, better striker. Burkham is a better total footballer. Yeah. No, Ber Ber Burkham is a better striker. Well, we're doing strikers here. Yeah. Burkham's a better striker. You never played striker. Play off, you played off, you know, off, like, off the off the You know, Sally. Burkham, Burkham led a line. Mm. This, answer, this answer is then. It's Burkham. not. It is. <laughs> it, all right, final day of the season. 
right? Let's just say it's Chelsea for argument's sake. You're yeah. through on goal against West Brom, for example. Final, final day of the season to score a goal yeah. to win the Premier League. Yeah. It's not Burkham. It's Burkham <laughs> over, over Andy Cole. Mate, it took him it's three not, chances he's, to score he's one. Ask Liverpool. Uh, yeah, he's, <laughs> better, yeah. he's quicker, he's a better finisher, he's more powerful. He's technically gifted. He'll let, he, he pass it sideways. Oh. So he hit it He did it true and hard. No. He'd pass it sideways. He'd ping it in. Yeah, yeah. He'd ping it in, Burkham. Ping it in where? I've never, I never saw him do those kind of finishes. Of course you did. No, I didn't. Then you haven't seen him play enough. Of course, you can't do that. I was well. doing my work instead of watching highlights at the end of my work shift. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's crazy. No, no. Right. No, we have to, we have to be de- no, democratic. Hang on. I'm democratic. not putting this to the democracy either. If you can't agree, it goes to the audience. Yeah. No, because they're going to get. It. I'm worried. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is the, the format. No, there's a flaw in the game. <laughs> okay. okay. I let the facts speak. I'm an objective person. I see the facts in front of me. I think Andy Cole. He's got more goals. Right. Yeah. He was a better striker, so he wins. No, but that's that's not it. Right, that's we're ridiculous. What are we logic. doing? You're voting Cole. You're no, going I'm Burkham. not. I'm not voting anything. I'm saying it is. Right. It's <laughs> okay, we're going. It to has the, to be Burkham. We're going to the vote. Okay, so Burkham, one percent of the vote. Andy Cole, 0.25. So it is Burkham. You guys don't know it nothing is, about football. It's Burkham. It's considered. Wow, four times. That's crazy. Bang. I was worried there. I shouldn't have been. I should have trusted you more, Sport Bible audience. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Let's get back to your side, BB. We've got Aguero mm. versus Van Persie. Well, it's easy. He's got more Premier League titles. He's got a better goal to game ratio. He's far more consistent. He won the Premier League with multiple managers. Boothie's correct. It is Aguero over Van Persie. Yeah. There's very little to do. Done. Yeah. All right, BB. Easy. Do the honours. Aguero goes through. Okay, now we've got Erling Haaland versus Harry Kane. There's very little to debate here either. This is easy. Just do it, Booth. Okay. Yep. Oh, I thought you were going. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, obviously, we'll we'll do it quick. But it's yeah. it's, it's oh it's, it is it's Harry Kane, and obviously we'll talk about more. it. All I can say is there is an argument to be made that if he stays for five, six, seven years, I think it's it's pretty straightforward. Yeah, I'd agree with that. But if for, he stays, for, we don't know. Yeah, five, five and years. And if he does stay, do you think he breaks the Premier League record? Yeah, he breaks every if record. If he stays for that long, yeah, yeah. The, he won't stay for that long though. Oh, nice and easy. Right, we've got our first semi-final. Wayne Rooney versus Dennis Burkamp. I think Dennis Burkamp has done incredibly well to get here. He's seen off some great players. But Rooney is Rooney is sensational. Yeah. And even the brilliance of Burkamp can't outweigh. Bit Rooney. interesting, they're both non-strikers, really. They're not pure, pure strikers. Obviously, they're both drop deep and, and Rooney was a, even a winger at points and, and a midfielder so I think it's interesting that's how good both of them are to get that far in the tournament yep. they're not really they're not number nines in like a Robbie Fowler is for example mm. all right this has to be Rooney yeah happy with that yeah I think so. Get Wayne Rooney in the final first finalist Wayne Rooney all right nice next one we have got Kun Aguero versus Harry Kane it's so hard to argue like I want to make a case here <laughs> but the the trophy hall of Aguero it is very difficult to compete with. If, you know, if Kane had t- had titles, I think it's Kane, mm. but he doesn't, and therefore it's almost irrelevant me saying that, isn't it? I really want to fight for him. I think mm. he's just a, a, a glorious footballer, but he hasn't given me any ammunition. I can't, I can't make a case for it. Five titles. Do you know how brilliant you have to be to be in a Guardiola team mm. for that long? And, and not be replaced. You know, they were looking at other players, other strikers came in. Percent. And he Million held percent, on to yeah. his place, regardless of the money that they could spend, regardless of the other strikers on the on the horizon in world football. They could have signed anyone, and it was always Aguero. Um, I can't argue yeah. with Kane here. Yeah, yeah I right. think it's pretty straightforward. Well, let's do it then. Let's get Aguero. This play. is tough now. Oh, this is great. Yeah. I love this. The Battle of Manchester. We've got Wayne Rooney versus Sergio Aguero. If you think of all of the attributes of both players, I think Wayne Rooney is, at the very least, as good at Aguero as everything, and then better than him at other things. So, in terms of in terms of carrying the ball, I think Wayne Rooney was a better ball carrier. Um, I think that he's as good a finisher. I think that his work rate is higher. I think that he did more for the team overall. And I think the answer just has to be Wayne. In fact, the more I speak about it, the more I think that it just is Wayne Rooney. What do you think, Boo? I think you're bang on in terms of the overall player that Wayne Rooney is. I can't, I, I, th- I love Wayne. I think he's the best player to ever come out of this country, period, from, in, in my opinion. Aguero, you probably couldn't argue, argue he's top 10 from Argentina, so that, that's different. The only thing I, I don't agree with is the finishing. I think we, we saw more of Aguero in the box because he, he was asked to play that role. I think Wayne Rooney's finishing, when he did have those long range efforts, the volleys and the bicycle kicks, of course, but Aguero did it times almost two in terms of the amount of goals he got. I mean, what was he, number four on the list of all-time goal scorers in the Premier League? And obviously Rooney's close as well. But I think the finishing, Aguero's a better finisher of the ball. 
Um, but everything else, I think, you know, Roy's also, right. You, you, Wayne Rooney is Manchester United. You think of some of the icons that they've had playing up front scoring goals for them. He's Manchester United's top goal scorer. He's England's top goal scorer. And somehow some people think his career was underwhelming. That's how good he was. Mm. You know, nobody would ever argue that Aguero didn't fulfil his potential. But some people would, incorrectly in my opinion, suggest that Wayne Rooney didn't necessarily fulfil his potential. So I thought that when we came into this debate, when we actually explore it, that it was going to be way tighter. But Wayne Rooney's just a better footballer and a better striker. And he's won more Premier League titles. And he's won more Premier League titles. And he did a kind of 10-year spell. And he's where it's close to eight, nine years. It's a little bit longer yeah. as well. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Rooney. Yeah. Wow. It's Rooney. There you go. I thought it was going to be much harder than that. With, I, I, with you in the corner. If it was someone else, if it was, you know, even Henri, I think Aguero can talk to Henri about, how, you know, we have a debate. Mm. But because of Rooney's total total play, then you add the goal records, then you add more Premier League titles. Mm. Even the Champions League final, he, he did show up for Man United in the Champions League final as well. Mm. I think it's Rooney. Yeah, and that's the other thing. We saw Aguero crying in Portugal, didn't we? Why just to bring that up? No, no, no. Actually, I'd go back. Go to the vote now. Get go to the, the vote. vote. No, no, no. Why just to bring that up? I was crying too. <laughs> Right, okay, so please do the honours. Wayne Rooney is the greatest Premier League striker of all time. Wow. wow. Congratulations, Wazza. Congratulations, Wazza. That Liverpool side were good, though, and um, the United side, and I know you're not, uh, United fans are going to come, up, come at me now, they had a lot of luck in that treble. And listen, you need a lot of luck to win these knockout competitions, but... They had a group for death. Yeah, they had a lot of luck getting through, but that Liverpool side, I remember that final, mm. man. 